today's video, we're going to be touring this Fleetwood Homes. The name of this home is the Lexington. Again, this is the Lexington. It's a four bedroom, two bath, seven, 1,790 square feet. Let's go in and take a look, shall we? All right, this is the Lexington. Ooh. So this is the door we came in. Okay. So this is the door that I came in and that's your living room. So you got this space here for your living room. Really nice. And from the living room, you can see into the kitchen and the dining room. Really nice. They got that brick wallpaper. If you don't care for that, you can absolutely order it without it. Um, Love, love, love the space in this house, you guys. This is the kitchen. Sorry, it's a little dark, but it's a cloudy day. And these homes don't always have uh, lighting. So let's see if I can make it a little brighter. Okay, I hope that helps. You got a nice big island. You can put two or three bar stools in this island. I always am a favorite of those cutouts on each end because you can put decor. Then you got cabinet space in the island. Again, please forgive the lighting. Try to do the best I can with showing these houses. But sometimes you just can't see what you can't see. You know what I mean? So there's your kitchen. Got a pantry in here. Nice size pantry. I would bring shelving around on this side because you got a good space. Look at all the space in there. Look how big it is. Got a good space in there. So with additional shelving, you will really maximize the space that you have. I love that it's cattle corner because it gives you even more space in your pantry. Now next to the kitchen, you have your dining room. So this would be your dining room area. You can put a big table here. You got two windows there to bring in a lot of light and your dining room table will go there gives you plenty of space to move around between the dining room and the kitchen look at all that space and then when you're entertaining you can also max use the space here in this family room now i love this sectional it will go well in this room you can put a nice big tv on that wall you can put a 75 or 80 inch tv up on that wall and this would be a nice space for your family room, man cave, playroom, common room, craft room, just whatever you want. Offices, whatever you want it to be. So you have a formal space for your living room as well as you have space for your family room right here. Off the family room and before we go check out the other rooms, just to show you how big this area is. Look at there. Great space for entertaining. Great space for entertaining. So off of this room, first we have the utility room here. You go around this corner and there's your back door. Washer and dryer, deep freezer, all kind of stuff could go in here. Look at there. Really nice. So that's your utility room all of that and then you got this little hallway so even if you wanted to put a little table or whatever you want to do in this space you could absolutely create an area that you like in this space as well next to that you have guest bedroom number one look at all the light coming in so that's guest bedroom number one this bedroom closet has a is a walk-in Really nice. 
Oh no, it's a regular closet. It just looks like it was gonna be big. So you got that space there. Really need to bring the shelving around so you have more room for storage. Or you could put maybe one there and one over here on the lower levels so you can create a space. If you had lower shelving on these walls, then you could have stuff hanging, but also space to stack stuff up like sweaters or books or whatever you wanted in here. Just to give whoever bedroom this is more storage space. So that's guest bedroom number one. Right here, you have guest bedroom number two. These guest bedrooms appear to be about the same size. Got a little smaller closet. That's the standard closet right there. But this is guest bedroom number two. And then down here, you have the guest bath, which features a transom window. Lots of space in the guest bath. And then here's your third guest bedroom right here, which is a little bigger than the first two. So guest bedroom number two. And then that's your closet. All right, so those are the three guest bedrooms and they're all down here by the family room, guest bedroom, bathroom, two guest bedrooms and your utility room. And then again, this is your family room. Lost the light, but it's kind of dark, you guys. It's cloudy. All right, off of, the, off of the living room, on this side, you have the master. So this is the master. Get your master, and then here's your master bath. You got a sink right there and a makeup table. Really nice. Two mirrors, so if two people are standing there, you are okay. Your other sink is over there. You got a huge tub here, soaker tub, huge mirror and a window that opens. And then your shower's there. Got your master closet. And then your toilet room is back there. So again, this is the Lexington. Please forgive the areas that are dark. If I have pictures on the web, I will post them here as well, okay? All right, this mobile home dealership doesn't post prices. If you're interested, all of their information will be down in the description box, okay? All right, thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.